Hello, it's me, Gilly. <sighs> the Sopranos, let's talk about it. That's really all I ever wanna talk about, not just in these videos. If you're talking to me in real life, you should know that I would rather be talking about The Sopranos than whatever we are discussing. You know, we might go into another lockdown in South Africa, and if you're watching this from somewhere else, you might be in a lockdown already, and you might be thinking to yourself, I've run out of TV to watch, and yet, you have not watched The Sopranos. What are you doing? This is a gold mine of TV waiting for you. You are so lucky if you haven't watched The Sopranos. I'm jealous of you. Where do you even start? Character names. I mean, Paulie Walnuts. Christopher Moltisanti. Bobby Bacala. Are you kidding me? That's just the beginning. Who wouldn't want to spend time with those guys? Here's what you have to know about the plot of The Sopranos if you don't know anything. It's not just that it's a, a show about the Mafia. And who wouldn't want to watch that? Who would not want to watch six seasons of Goodfellas? No one. That's crazy, okay? The Sopranos is a show about a mob boss who goes to see a therapist because he's having panic attacks and he can't cope with the stress, okay? I mean, this is like an exploration of masculinity, of toxic masculinity, if you really want to call it that, okay? It's a deeply psychological show, not to mention the fact that the writing, directing, and acting is the best you or I have ever seen. Then I mentioned it. Why do we do that? Who invented that thing where you say not to mention and then you mention the thing you said you weren't going to mention? That makes no sense. Here's another thing you have to know, if you're under 30, or if you're over 30 and you've forgotten, okay, TV never used to look the way that it looks now. Okay, you've taken for granted that TV looks amazing, that it looks like film. You watch like The Crown and Euphoria and Queen's Gambit and you think like, oh, that's obvious to you that it must be beautiful, okay? It looks like it was made by filmmakers. Before The Sopranos, TV looked like your dad made it. Okay, he didn't have a Samsung or an iPhone, he had a camcorder. And he was wearing those shorts and the socks and the tackies in an unironic way. That was not cool before millennials or Gen Z or wherever we are now, okay? You know, 20 years ago, when I uh, started watching the show, watched it for a couple of years and I thought, you know, this is the best thing on TV, which at the time wasn't a huge challenge. But then... I watched 20 years of television in the golden era of television. Okay, that's what the last 20 years have been. And I watched The Sopranos again for the second time last year. And when I was done, I thought, this is the best thing on TV. If you're wondering about my level of obsession, I've started to listen to a podcast where they discuss every single episode in detail. You don't have to watch it like that. You can watch it like a civilian. Um, but a lot of you, you know, please, you're a young person, don't come to me and tell me like Ozark is the best show that's ever been made. I enjoyed Ozark, okay? I enjoyed watching Marty and, you know, all of his stress. But don't come and tell me that a lunch bar is the best chocolate that's ever been made when you've never had a bar one. Some of you are out here eating chomps and trying to convince me and yourself that they're chocolates. All I'm saying is, watch The Sopranos, okay? This is not for me. This is for you. I just want you to be happy. I've watched it. I don't need this information. Twice I've watched it. Listen to the podcast. You don't have to do that. Just watch the show. You will thank me. See you tomorrow.